Uh, local law enforcement's reached the limit of what we can do with traditional community policing. You know, it's primarily transactional, it's what we can do for you. And what, what researchers have told us is that the link between, you know, crime rates and what we can do, um, and crime and f fear and safety, you know, fear and, and whatnot, is not linked very well together. And so what we do know is that the future of policing really is in building that social fabric, building the relationships that we know matter and that create a thriving community. What we're focusing on is, is this notion that understanding race, understanding ethnicity is, exper is experiential. We have to experience it. And so what we can do as is, is government, as police, is create the environment where people can experience one another differently. And by doing that, you reduce fear, you reduce isolation, and you create a sense of the whole. And that is no matter what race or, or ethnicity you, come, you, know, you are. And that's, that's an important way to approach it. If we see ourselves as conveners and facilitators, instead of only practitioners and exercising formal, you know, the formal social controls, I think we have a bigger benefit and it changes the way in which we're perceived by communities, especially communities of color. Um, back in 2009, we started this movement, and I call it a movement because community building is incremental, right? It's not revolutionary. You don't have one event and go, we've officially built our community. It's not something you can, you can see, you feel it, you sense it through relationships. And so back in December of 2009, we called the meeting. We called it a community cafe. 400 people showed up from around the community and had conversations with each other about what the future holds. That led into our planning process about the future. And so we put together um, a core planning team of 31 people, very diverse, not only in race, ethnicity, and gender, but also of divergent opinion. And that has led us to proclaim our future. Brooklyn Park, a thriving community, inspiring pride, where opportunities exist for all. That's a very important mission statement, because within that, um, there's a couple core values that really ring true, is that we believe everyone has equal intrinsic value. We believe that community thrives when everyone takes responsibility to contribute. And um, it really goes back to what Dr. Sampson said about this collective efficacy. You know, truly, when you look at the essence of successful communities, it's where people know and trust one another, and police are in the equation because there simply isn't any. Now obviously when, when people call for services that only we can provide, we should be there, professional engaging. But um, really that, that's ancillary to what a healthy community is. And by the way, I believe that this new approach will increase the legitimacy within, within these communities. And when you have higher levels of legitimacy, we become more effective as, as agencies.